What's up, everybody? I'm Carolyn Mano. Thanks for clicking into Sports Not joined by Sports Illustrated senior writer Chris Mannix, who writes that on paper, at least, the Brooklyn Nets are the best team in the NBA. Chris, how much of that has to do with Kevin Durant? I think a lot of it has to do with Kevin Durant, who, you know, is the engine that's going to drive that team all season long. I mean, we saw last year, LeBron James uh, was the reason the Lakers won a championship. Anthony Davis contributed a lot, but LeBron James ultimately was pushing them uh, all throughout the postseason. Kevin Durant uh, has the ability to be that guy. I think he can be that guy this year. I mean, the Achilles injury is probably the most challenging in injury for any NBA player to overcome. History is littered with players who have struggled to come back from Kobe Bryant to Chauncey Billups to Wesley Matthews. But Kevin Durant, over the last few months, uh, people that have seen him work out have said he looks like he is all the way back. And watching him in preseason games, he looks like he is all the way back. So uh, if you have an, uh, a full-strength Kevin Durant, you put yourself in position to be the best team in the conference. So you've got Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, and then a collection of young stars in addition, maybe upwards of a dozen guys who need minutes. Uh, this is going to be a challenge for Steve Nash. I mean, how does he manage this? Uh, it's a huge challenge for Steve Nash, who – is coming into this role with no experience whatsoever. I mean, Steve Nash uh, did a, a brief stint as a player development coach in Golden State, where he developed his relationship uh, with Kevin Durant, but he has no relationship before this with Kyrie Irving. The only bond they have is that they've both been point guards at an extremely high level, and he's a guy that's got to come in with lofty expectations. I mean, the Nets are going to be expected to compete for a conference championship at least this year, and they do have the talent to do it. I think the biggest challenge for Steve is going to be finding uh, ways to keep everybody in that locker room happy. You've got a whole bunch of young guys on that team that are used to playing a significant role and having significant minutes. Karis LeVert, Joe Harris, Spencer Dinwiddie, even guy like Jared Allen, they were key players in the Nets playoffs teams over the last two years. And look, they're coming in saying the right thing, saying they want to be part of a winner. But when those shot numbers go down and those numbers go down, that can really have an impact on young players. So Steve Nash's ability to keep everybody in that locker room happy is going to be huge for the Nets this season. NBA fans might draw some comparisons, Chris, to Kyrie Irving's days with the Celtics. That's a championship caliber roster. They had problems. Now Kyrie Irving is out and about saying that they, quote unquote, might not have a head coach, taking a little bit of a shot at Steve Nash and his inexperience here. I mean, talking already and the season hasn't even started. They have a position in common, but as you say, you know, maybe not much else, just getting to know each other in an abbreviated offseason. How is Steve Nash going to manage the challenges, frankly, that come with a personality like Kyrie Irving? No, it's a great comparison to make with the Celtics because, I mean, there are some parallels there. And look, it is in part what I was talking about with these young guys expecting minutes, but a bigger part of it is going to be the prospect of trade rumors tearing that locker room up. I mean, in 2018, the Celtics heard almost weekly about how the team was in pursuit of Anthony Davis. Guys like Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum and Marcus Smart were asked about Anthony Davis. In this locker room, you could deal with the same type of issues with James Harden. James Harden wants to be traded out of Houston. The Nets have interest in James Harden. The young guys in that locker room have to be looking around going, look, if we get James Harden, that means one or all of us are going to go. And, you know, for Steve Nash, that's part of managing the locker room. And for Kyrie Irving, having experienced that as a leader in Boston and failing in Boston, he's got to do a better job if those type of fires start to, uh, start to pop up. I think you bring an, up an interesting point. It's one thing to be good on paper. It's another to win an NBA championship. Chris Maddox, senior writer at Sports Illustrated. Thanks for being with us. You got it.